Wonderful Sunday, there we go, this wonderful Sunday. And it is Children's Sabbath, which is a national day of recognition of kids. And so, as you notice, Claire was one of our pianists during the prelude. So kids will be doing various things in the worship service today. And uh, they will be helping to lead us in thinking about God and nature and our relationships with God. And uh, they said they had learned some things in the process. So. Hopefully all the rest of us will as well. If you're visiting with us, you are our special guests and we want to welcome you and invite you to our fellowship time after church, which is through these doors and a great chance to mix and mingle and have some coffee and donuts and get to know each other just a little bit better. If everyone would please take those black pads at the center aisle and pass them down and give a record of your attendance with us. And if you're visiting with us, any information you give there gives us a chance to get a hold of you and see if there are any questions that you have. In the meantime, I'd let you know that we believe everyone is a minister. And so the ministers of this church are those around you. And they can answer questions about this church and its programs and its ministries. And we also believe that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you're welcome here. So people of all ages, types, and kinds are welcome into the life and leadership and worship of this church. A few announcements to point out on your blue uh, inserts. The conversational dinners are this evening, so don't forget to prepare your dish and show up uh, where you're supposed to go this evening for your, uh, for your conversational dinner if you signed up. Next Sunday, our adult ed is going to have a special program, Democracy and Authoritarianism in the Middle East, with one of our uh, political science professors from UNO talking about recent developments in the Middle East. That should prove to be an interesting program and you uh, might want to attend next Sunday. Next Sunday also is the Women's Fellowship Halloween Fall Bake Sale. So both bake items to bring to help sell but also bring money to buy other people's baked items to take home and eat next week. And then I know there are a couple of special announcements. Rick? Please join me in the prayer of confession printed in our order of worship. Creator God, you have made each of us in your image, and yet we fail to reflect your love and justice. You have created every child in your image, and yet we don't treat every child as a precious reflection of you. We invest our time, money, and hopes in some children while we squander the great potential of others. Open our eyes, we pray, to see that every child is made in your image and belongs to you. Help us to love, protect, and nurture all children. We pray these things in the name of the one who came to us as a child. Amen. Listen, I have something to say. Our past is behind us. We are free to live new lives, to be new people. Try again to be who God intends us to be. Rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. You may be seated. The last few weeks we have been reading from the book of Job and talking about how Job in the midst of his intense suffering has asked God questions and demanded that God respond. And jo God's response to Job is the great speech from the whirlwind from chapters 38 to 41, most of which you heard read uh, today as the children helped us to imagine and enact those that bit of the Bible. I want to thank the I had this idea, let's do a children's drama from the book of Job, and fortunately this is a congregation that doesn't go, what in the world are you thinking? <laughs> so I want to thank Stephen and Clyde and Elizabeth and Nancy and Lynn for helping the kids. For, Clyde wrote the script and... and Yeah, it's great when you have an idea and other people take it and make it happen, you know. Uh, but then we had all these great props were made by the various artists in the church, uh, Terry and Joyce and uh, Bud and Andy and even Elizabeth. Desi Elizabeth designed the well, and so, uh, but we should thank the artist for all the great work that they did. Um. And 
And even though there was a bit of humor in all of this, I hope in some ways it does prompt you to think about our relationship with God and with creation. And next week I'll be wrapping up this series on the book of Job and, uh, and talking more about Job's response to God after he hears this great speech. And But in this moment, God reminds us that the creation isn't all about us, that there's a whole lot more going on in it than just us. And I think that's a key message for us to remember uh, today and every day. This is Children's Sabbath. It's an annual national event. Uh, there's a yellow insert in your bulletin that with some of the theme materials for this year, and the focus is on uh, children uh, head who too early and too easily get into prison and, and the various conditions that can lead to that. You can find lots of other resources online. This year we didn't go quite with the, uh, the national theme, we did our own thing, but you can read there some of the disturbing statistics about children and their incarceration rates and knowing that prison ministry is an important thing to this congregation, uh, I think that will resonate with us. My pastoral prayer today, I'm adapting from some of the Children's Defense Fund resources for this day. But let us begin with a moment of silent reflection. Mothering and fathering God, the challenges facing children and those who care for them can seem so huge and so abstract that we lose touch with reality. Help us to remember that the needs and prayers of each child, each parent, each teacher, each caring person are real and individual to you. And so we pray this day for the child care providers and parents who provide safe, warm, stimulating environments to spark a love of learning and fuel the curiosity of our youngest children as they scribble with crayons, pet the hamster, and try to taste the Play-Doh. We pray especially for those providers who are underpaid and undervalued, for those parents who can't find quality, affordable care for their children while they work, for the child in poor care whose potential is squelched. We pray for the teachers who devote themselves to educating our children and helping them flourish to their potential. For their dedication, imagination, and concern, we give you thanks. We pray for students gripping pencils as they strive to learn, especially those faced with the challenges of health and development, with unsafe schools, low expectations, and inadequate resources. We pray for children who are sick and injured, whose ability to learn is hampered by illness. We pray for the youths who are preparing for work, that you will guide them in discovering their gifts and talents, skills and aptitudes, and surround them with teachers and adults who will get them ready to succeed. We pray especially for those young people who fear they will not be able to find work and earn a living, who don't have adults to help them prepare, and who despair of ever succeeding. We pray for our society that we will demonstrate an investment and priority in our children today for our future tomorrow. In your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, as our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.